hate to sound like a broken record, but that's schizophrenia. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were only gonna talk about all the Strava KOMs I got last year. I mean, even if it was schizophrenia, I don't really care. What do you suggest I do to get more KOMs this year? I would suggest you take prescribed medication. You mean like EPO or steroids? Aren't those banned? Uh, I don't know about all that. What else do you think I should do? I don't know. I suppose I would send you to see someone who knows about literature. Literature? Your answer is literature? Man, this clearly is a waste of time. The only literature I read are the nutritious facts on the back of my cliff bars. I'm out of here. I want my money back. Now. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Okay, check this out, right? So it's the first beautiful day of spring. You check the weather app and the weather is going to be absolutely perfect. Your local cycling club calls you up and says, yo, today is gonna be our first full ride together as a group and you're mad excited. So you go to pull your bike out of storage, you wipe off the dust, you take two pedal strokes on the road and roll. There is something wrong with your bike, but you can't exactly figure out what it is. But either way, your ride for the day has been canceled. So you decide you're gonna take your bike to the local bike shop and guess what? They tell you it's gonna be four business days to complete the service because everyone else had the same bright idea and wants to ride their bike as well. And so it's gonna take four days to get your bike fixed. Yikes. To avoid all of this hassle and potentially any dangerous situations out on the road, here are five tips to prepare for spring. Ideally, these tips should be completed well before the spring. And it's also a good idea to take your bike around the block for a quick spin before your first legitimate ride. So tip number one, wash your bike. Now, washing your bike will give you a clean slate to begin inspecting your bike for any issues, maintenance, or repairs. It's also much easier to do this with a clean bike, and as we all know, a clean bike is a fast bike. Tip number two, inspect the tires and replace them as needed. The last thing you wanna discover out on the road is that your tires are janky, warped, or even just needing air. So be sure to inspect the tread and the tire pressures before that first ride, making sure that they're pumped to the recommended PSI and replace the tires and inner tubes as needed. Tip number three, check and tune your gears. If your bike has been on the trainer all winter like mine has, then chances are your derailleurs and your cassette are still going through a lot of the typical wear and tear, in a lot of cases, even more so. So more than likely, you'll need to make some adjustments and slight indexing to have smooth shifting for when you finally put your rear wheel back on the bike. And while you're at it, you might as well check all of the cabling around your bike as well. Tip number four, check the brakes. So this of course is obvious, but to keep yourself and those around you safe, inspect your brake pads for any abnormal wear. Now I can only speak for rim brakes here because I am rim brakes for life, but make sure that the brake pads are properly aligned with the brake track on the wheel within the brake calipers. And also check and tighten any bolts around the brakes as needed. Yo, what do you guys think about my mustache? Should I keep it? Should I cut it? My plan was to keep it at least through the end of April. Right now I'm looking like a 1980s adult star. Bruh. So comment down below what you guys think. Should I keep it? Should I cut it? Let me know. And tip number five guys is start purchasing spare parts and components now like right now, like stop watching this video and go buy components right now. This past year has shown us an increased demand for bikes and subsequently means that sourcing components has been a challenge for some. So before you go out and spend $300 on those carbon cycling shoes, which probably won't even make you faster anyway, perhaps use some of that money to stock up on essential equipment like spare inner tubes, lube, tires, as well as chains. Because the last thing you wanna do is be sidelined for a whole entire week while waiting for spare parts to come into the mail. So that's it guys, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I will check you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.